We have our first ever sale implemented into the store of Halo Infinite, but is it something worth taking a look at? Well, let's check it out. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we have our first ever sale right here. You can see in the store right now, our first sale item is the Hazop Armor Safe. If you guys remember, this was actually sold previously, which I remember correctly, for about 2,000 credits. Now it's being sold for 1,000 credits, which probably makes me feel like this might be one of the last times we'll see this armor set be available within the store. So if you really want to pick up has up this is your chance to probably do it and at a better price though i feel like this kind of screws over the people who already paid the 2000 credits for has up but i mean you got it when it first came out so it's kind of like one of those things where it's like yeah you get to use it at first when it's brand new and all that kind of cool stuff but uh you know you maybe pay attention to maybe later on, it will come out at a lower price. But okay, this does kind of line up more with the more current pricing that we have right now for the store. So it's kind of one of those things like, yeah, I mean, like we kind of figured that the pricing was going to change with the store initially when it first came out. Uh, so if you're buying in the highs up at, at first, I mean, unless you really like that armor set, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be too bad out of shape about it. And also just like, I just kind of feel against like buying a, a, a set like has up just because of the fact of how it's just like Halo Reach armor, but this time you have to pay for it. And like, it's a pretty solid set with some good customization that comes with it. So if you really like this armor set and you really want to deck out your Mark 5B, this would be a great way to do just that. But I just feel like something like this should be part of the battle pass and nothing that's, that's really part of the store necessarily because nothing really of this really kind of stands out like, hey, I bought this kind of item. Like we saw right here with the stance, like you can see here, I bought this coating and set right here with the uh, optic setting, which I thought helps you kind of stand out and make you feel like, yeah, I purchased this kind of item. When you're wearing like a helmet just looks like this, to me it just kind of looks like, oh, you just earned like another helmet in the battle pass. Like, no, they actually paid for this. And so you know, I, just, I don't really appreciate the idea of having to buy has up, especially when, when it was an armor set that was previously available as just part of the customization of previous Halo titles. So I'm not a huge fan to that. We also have the Flash Fjord, if I remember, if I pronounced that correctly. You've probably seen this kind of coding and colorization within the, some of the advertising of Halo Infinite's uh, images. Pretty interesting coding, definitely stands out, looks unique. Kind of reminds me of like Goku in a way, if I remember correctly. I never really was like a big fan of uh, Dragon Ball Z, but I feel like it's uh, something definitely worth checking out. That coding though, looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. It's uh, definitely a cool looking uh, setup you got there. And it's also for a thousand credits. Uh, so I mean, if you think this is something that's worth picking up, you know, maybe, like I said, if you're a big Dragon Ball Z fan, you might actually really like something like this. But uh, for the most part, like I might just pass on it because to me, it's just kind of more colors rather than anything really cool and unique. I mean, like, like the, the front grill of the Warthog right here does look really cool. But again, like you don't really see it in first person while you're playing the game. So I'm not really gonna bother picking it up though. It does look pretty sick when you have this, like, what's it called? Like the, the cow catcher in the front. Maybe it deals more damage to people while you're trying to give them a splatter or something. That'd be kind of overpowered, but also hilarious at the same time. We also have the tank rank, which comes with a tank coating as long as it finally starts to load into here. Uh, maybe not, let's see. <laughs> but uh, we also have the tank beats everything tag, which is a pretty nice little call back to Halo 3 there for sure. They have some uh, emblems you can play around with as well on your weapons and vehicles and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And this uh, coating does look pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Like I actually kind of like this coating a lot. So again, like nothing really like, like stands out to me where I'm like, oh my God, I need to pick this up kind of thing. Uh, interesting thing, you see a little purple right there in the uh, little visor kind of thing right there. So that's kind of cool. But uh, mainly it's just black and gold, like nothing too crazy. I don't think I'm really gonna bother to pick it up. And then for the daily bundle that we have, which does change that quite often, we have the Neptune's Depth, which gives you another coating for your Bulldog Shotgun. You also have the Neptune's Depth for the coating right here for your Mark 7, which does look pretty awesome. But again, it's only for the Mark 7. But I think it's kind of more just recycling stuff that was available previously. And maybe now moving forward, maybe like with season two, when we have coatings, it might be more available for other cores, which I've seen like, whenever we have new stuff coming to the game, it looks like it also becomes available for other cores as well. But that's really just kind of like the most that we have going on for this week in Halo Infinite, guys. So not a whole lot. Still waiting on an official date when it comes to the Tactical Ops event. Once that date does go live, I'll make sure to share it with you guys here on the channel. We're also still keeping an eye out for that roadmap. Once it does go live, again, I'll share it with you guys. You know, we'll see 
soon as there's any kind of news, guys, you know, this is what I do on the channel. I, I, you know, I find information and I share it with you guys out here. Also, if you're watching the video the day that this gets posted, I will be live on my Twitch channel tonight. We'll be doing a map tier list of ranking all the Halo Infinite maps, taking some community polls and some feedback and kind of getting you guys involved with the tier list creation. Maybe get posted up on YouTube if it turns out to be a pretty good video as well. So make sure you check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment down below to my Twitch channel. We'll be live at eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time to do an awesome tier list of all the Halo Infinite maps. And a little extra tidbit of Halo Infinite news for you guys, because not only is the store sale, first sale we've ever had, worth making a video about, but it's also got some information about the offline mode, looking like we have a new map and King of the Hill coming into Halo Infinite. A keen eye user here on Reddit posted this up saying that, you know, we've seen this previously also that like when you go into offline mode, that King of the Hill does show up. So eventually it's gonna get put in the game. When it does happen, we don't really know. Again, like, I'll keep you guys up to date as soon as that information does go live. Uh, maybe it could be a part of the tactical ops event maybe part of season two since season two is only just a few months away now like we're literally just two months away from season two guys again some actual content being put in the game which would be quite exciting for sure and then we also have a new map we can see right here that this looks like they're maybe putting a new placement for a new map which does concern me a little bit for season two if we only get one new map that would be a little concerning. Again, this is only pre-release. This is all just kind of like offline mode kind of stuff. So I might be just kind of trying to set things up. My expectations for season two, guys, is that we'll probably get like maybe like two maps, maybe three maps, and like, like two arena maps and one more BT map or something like that. Uh, nothing really too crazy. Uh, I kind of expect it to be kind of more of the same kind of stuff. Maybe like, a new, of course, we're going to get new battle pass, new options for customization, maybe reworks of the store and progression, maybe some ranked ups updates as well. But yeah, for the most part, I'm never really expecting a crazy you know, change of pace. Like obviously co-op's coming with season two, at least that's the, still the current plan. I would say guys, like if you're expecting season two to be like a revival of Halo Infinite, I wouldn't bet money on that. I would say just kind of expect it to be kind of more of the same kind of stuff that we have right now, but just kind of gain more of it really. Um, I would love to see like a really cool mode come in, but we've seen about like certain affinities mode talking about how it's going to be kind of like a new kind of PVP, PVE kind of game kind of thing to kind of bring more casual people in that's kind of like in line with like Apex Legends and Warzone. At least those are all the leaks and rumors going about that certain affinity mode. Again, once we get more information on it, I'll make sure to share it with you guys here on the channel. My biggest hope with that certain affinity mode that it's something new that we've never really experienced before in a Halo game. I think that's something that this game desperately needs right now because even though with the content that we got like at basic level at launch, it was very like core to the Halo experience and everyone jumped in, played it and had some fun, but it was really just kind of more like plain good Halo rather than like a new Halo if that kind of makes sense. So I'm kind of hoping with this certain affinity mode which hopefully season two maybe season three or something like that sometime in a year I'm assuming we'll get this new mode and when it does happen I just hope it's something different that we've never really had before that would help kind of be more exciting for casual fans and new fans of Halo. But we'll just have to wait and see. But if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here going to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.